morning, you too. Good morning. Finally made it to my running grounds. Uh, we had some bad weather come through last night, but it did not rain a whole lot. It was just thundering. Uh, I mean, you would have thought the world was about to come to an end, but actually probably about five miles to the west of me, it poured down and trees are down and everything else, but um, God made it so that this area wasn't affected this morning. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. We got a little rain on the ground. I know that makes perfect conditions for running. Um, the two dogs I got this morning is Fred and T-Bone. What I'm gonna do is race them. Uh, and that really kind of shows, you know, the individual talent. You don't have a bunch of dogs you, you're trying to evaluate. You just got two of them. So, Fred is a powerful dog. T-Bone appears to be powerful. He's still a baby. Um, Sometimes he runs like a grown dog, but this is a measuring stick right here. Fred is definitely a measuring stick for T-Bone. So we're gonna drop him this morning. We're gonna see how he does, if he's going to hold, you know, hold his own this morning. Um, and that's gonna be a tall task because Fred does everything with power. Um, probably my most powerful dog here at the kennel. Um, I do have some other males that can run a real good rabbit, but at times, you know, if they find it, Fred will take it and move it on out. So uh, T-Bone has a tall task ahead of him. So stay with me, let's see what happens. Folks, that stuff is really, really thick. Red still got it. There you go. 
at it going that way. They're together now. Pushing it. That's some thick, thick, thick stuff, y'all. Nothing but briars. It gets thicker on in there. They pushing it. Got a swamp over there. A big ditch with water running down it. gonna try to make it to that dam up there. That's a pond dam. Maybe I can get some better footage. Maybe I can see, look down on them. There's a couple of dogs in the background, y'all. Hopefully you can tell the difference. They're going down there where all that water is now. Might be able to catch him when he crossed right there. He's probably already crossed. They're right there. It's tough, tough, tough running in there. the bushes so that's Fred I know they're gonna be good and scarred up if you guys have um, been following my page You'll see that uh, 
previously, uh, Fred had a longer tail. T-Bone had a longer tail. Uh, guys, I live in some of the worst country as far as running a rabbit there is. There's T-Bone right there. Looking hard, look at him. That young dog is special, y'all. Uh, make a long story short, um, I had to dock them because of the way that they use their body. Both of them are tail switchers and they really, really, really uh, beat themselves up. So I don't think it's necessary for, uh, for guys that don't run as much as I do or the territory is not as thick, but I had to do that to kind of help them out. And for guys that don't know, if you do enter competitions, when you do alter um, the physical appearance of a, of a dog, um, you can be penalized for that. But I, um, I'm not even interested in bench shows. The only thing I'm concerned about is what a dog do out here in the field, his ability. This is some of my tough territory, y'all. Like I said, uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult to hold on to a rabbit in here. Uh, but uh, they have everything going in their favor. It's nothing but a big old ditch like a swamp down there. And that rabbit goes back and forth across it. And I don't expect, you know, T-Bone to know what to do in it. And... Uh, you know, it, it gives some very experienced dogs trouble sometimes, so. But no excuses. That's why we out here. Keep running the same rabbit. One that's difficult, one that's hard to circle. Keep running him and keep running him and keep running him. That's how dogs learn. Beautiful land. But thick as Methuselah. in them bottoms and that's where that's where they stay very seldom do they hit those big fields i can't even walk in there that's how thick it is i think they dropped that one it's t-bone let's go <laughs> Good dogs, good dogs, good dogs. We'll get them next time. We'll get them next time. All the hunt in the world. Two dogs you don't have to walk in the bushes with. Starting to be best buddies. I, uh, I will start soloing T-Bone here shortly because he, he needs to figure it out by himself, which I've seen him take a rabbit with other dogs and hold on to it before they get there, you know, quite a long distance. So I don't think it's going to be an issue at all. Big nose. And like I said, guys, it went straight back and got in that what I call a jungle. That's what you want. That's what we all desire. Don't always get it. Don't always get it in the dog, but that's what we desire.
I think he just jumped that rabbit. He just jumped him, y'all. Yeah. Fred just jumped him. T-Bone just got with him. They do not stick around. They push a rabbit, y'all. You gotta be strong to be on the ground with these two. Push them, y'all. I can tell that, that Fred has the experience, but it is hard to judge these two. Um, T-Bone is getting getting his fair share of checks as well. They both they both just are working good together. They're bringing him back. I know this is a cottontail, y'all. Um, I can tell how he's running. Because he's going around in small circles now. Trying to throw those dogs. Mess around and get caught, that's what's gonna happen.
Folks, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but when they go into that small check and then they just break out with it, that means that rabbit is squatting on them. And uh, they're getting close and then he's getting back up. And like I said, that'll get a, that'll get a rabbit caught with, with fast dogs. If they make the wrong move, one of them can definitely run him down. But I, I don't like this rabbit as far as running. It's not stretching them out. It's so difficult to get that that open running top speed footage in my area uh, because how thick it is. But that's what I'm always out here to get. So you can guys see, you know, some dogs locking on and running at full speed it's, it's it's a sight to see these bugs killing me y'all i'm gonna shut this camera down for a second and um put some insect propellant on good dogs let's get out of here Let it go.